Hi, Timothy Unkert here. And in this video, I want to talk a little bit about this C programming tutorial. So in the first few videos, I'm going to cover setups for VS Code, Atom, Vim, and Emacs. If you have your setup, then you can just skip ahead to learn about the puts function. But if you want to watch the videos on the setup, uh, in VS Code, I go through a very basic setup. It's going to work on the fundamentals. Atom, same thing. Vim and Emacs, pretty much the same thing. Very simple. I try and keep it simple. For Vim to run the terminal, which you will need to do to compile and link your code, you're going to run the command term. For Emacs uh, to open the terminal, you're going to do Alt-X to run a command and then type the command E shell and hit Enter, and that will give you a terminal in Emacs. Um, all of these environments uh, can be added upon with plugins, extensions, and that may happen as I get more advanced into uh, the more advanced C. We'll see. Get it? All right. So uh, throughout this course, though, I will use different editors uh, and highlight them. I actually start with Emacs, then I go to Vim, then Atom, then VS Code. So you'll see it. Whatever editor I'm on, though, you don't have to switch to that one. You can use whatever you're working on. They're all pretty much the same. Uh, you compile link the code and then run the resulting file. So the basic command is gcc filename.c-o file name, and then you hit enter to compile. And then to run the file name, you do a dot forward slash and then the file name, hit enter, and that will run the file in your, ter in your terminal, no matter what setup you're on. I hope that gave you some information about the course, and I hope you stick with this course. And if you haven't subscribed already, I'll ask that you please subscribe uh, and like this video and hit the bell for notifications, as it really does help the channel grow. I do thank you for watching. I hope to see you in the next one, and I'll let you have a great day. Bye.